Hey guys, so today's video is going to be me talking about my weight loss journey and what motivated me while losing weight. I've talked about like how I lost the weight in separate videos and stuff, but I've never really talked about like my weight loss journal and the struggles that I went through and stuff like that. So I'm going to be talking about that today as well as what I did to keep myself motivated and how to keep yourself motivated when losing weight. To begin with because I noticed that in most of my videos I don't really say this and in comments I get asked all the time, but so my starting weight was 240 pounds and I'm 5'7". So you guys always ask me about my height. My height is 5'7". Um, so I started off at 240 pounds. Um, from the 10th grade up until the 12th grade, I weighed anywhere from 220 to 240 pounds. Um, for prom, I decided that I was going to try to lose weight in high school, and I tried to lose weight for prom, and I think I did lose like 10 pounds, but I gained it back, um, and I wasn't really eating, like I would just drink milk at lunch, um, and nutrition, and yeah, it was just that kind of thing. I also had a eating disorder when I was in the ninth grade. Um, basically what I would do is I would chew my food up and I would spit it out into a plastic baggie and I would throw it away. So I did that at every meal that I could. Um, with dinner time with my family we would eat all together in one room so I would just kind of pick around the plate and eat a little here and there. And I lost about 30 pounds that way but then um, I ended up gaining it back because I wasn't eating. I was just basically chewing the food up and spitting it out. Um, I just kind of wanted to trick myself into thinking that I was eating, but I really wasn't. I did that for probably about three months and then I lost 30 pounds in that three months and then I gained it all back. Plus some because I ended up being 240 pounds, like, you know, graduating high school. I got into college and when I got into college, um, I just noticed everyone was really fit. Um, not everyone, but most. Um, and I just, I had a very miserable um, first year in school. I was happy. I kind of wanted to join a sorority, but those type of things are very image, you know, like Im image based. Um, you have to be really skinny and pretty, or at least at my campus, that's how it appears. Um, so yeah, I was just really unhappy and I decided that I kind of needed to change and the breaking point for me was I went to a Trey Songz concert um, and I was at the Trey Songz concert. All the women there were just super cute. They all looked really like fit or skinny, whatever in my mind I thought. Um, and then a, Trey picked a girl on stage and I was just like, yeah, if I want to get picked on stage, I can't be 240 pounds because who's going to be able to lift me up there? So. Um, that was kind of like the last straw for me. I was tired of wearing block clothes to a concert. Um, I was just really overwhelmed by everything that was going on around me and so I decided that I was going to try to lose weight. Drinking soda. Stop drinking soda was like the first thing that I did and once I stopped drinking soda I lost 10 pounds in like two weeks and I was amazed. I was like whoa I lost 10 pounds in two weeks just from not drinking soda like yay. Um, so then I cut down with the cookies and chips and stuff. And I was like, this is really cool. And then around that time, my parents started this diet called the Atkins diet, where you don't have any sugar or carbs for the first two weeks. Like, you're very limited to what you can have. Um, and so I did that, and then I lost another, like, 20 pounds. And I was amazed by the results. Um, but then my parents stopped it, and then I stopped it, and I kind of gained some of that weight back. Um, because I went back to eating chips and cookies and stuff. So then afterwards I was like, you know what, I'm going to try again, but this time I'm going to exercise while doing it. So then I started um, to exercise and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go and I'm going to run five miles. And I went outside and I literally ran one block and I was like, <gasps> like breathing so hard. And I was like, I cannot do this. I'm going home. And I turned around and I went and walked the block back home. Um, and then I laid in bed that night and I was like, why did I give up so easy? Like, I really shouldn't have given up so easy. Like, that's, I just got to keep going. If I'm ever going to lose weight, I have to do it. And I would tell my little sister all the time, like, I'm going to lose weight this time next year. Like, I'm going to be in a bikini, blah, blah, blah. My sister would just kind of laugh. Um, and I would kind of laugh at myself, too, because I knew secretly that it's not going to happen. I decided that I was going to walk the next morning so I got up and I started to walk and then little by little I would walk and I'd be like you know what now I'm gonna run a block um, and then I'd run a block and start walking and I was like you know what I'm gonna run two blocks and I would start running two blocks and then I'd walk um, so I just kept running like increasing the blocks that I ran until I was able to run a mile without stopping um, and then two miles without stopping and you know it just it just keeps growing now and like now I can just run until I'm tired of running and you know by that time it's like three miles and I haven't walked yet um, so yeah so then um, backtrack um, I lost 
uh, 20 pounds again in the first three weeks I think of doing that and so I lost the 20 pounds in three weeks or two weeks I think it was two weeks um, and I was really happy with myself I felt really proud I was low carb in the sense of me not eating breads rice pasta blah blah but I was eating carb vegetables like things that had like carbs in it like um, sweet potatoes corn carrots and stuff of that nature um, and so then I was like well I'm gonna cut back on the starchy vegetables and kind of add in some fruit because I'm really craving fruit like something sweet so I would have um, grapes um, I would have a mixture of strawberries and blueberries so I just kind of kept it like that for about two months or three months and I lost like another 30 pounds I think so then all together I had lost like 50 pounds which was really good um, and then I would do the like low carb low sugar thing for about two weeks and then I would come off of it and I would have um, fruits in my diet again so I would alternate it from fruits and um, no fruits um, like so low carb low sugar and then I would introduce fruits back in my diet for another two weeks and I would just do like you know back and forth um, and it was a really good happy medium because I, I would do like smoothies in, re, in like for meal replacements so instead of like a meal like breakfast I would have a smoothie or instead of lunch I would have a smoothie and it was keeping my calories low and it was keeping my carbs low um, so it was like a trade-off which I thought was really good so that's how I was able to lose um, more weight and then I would change my workouts around I would ride my bike and run um, I would just ride my bike sometimes sometimes just run um, and I didn't really, I didn't lift weights at all for the first like 100 pounds or the first 90 pounds. I didn't lift weights or anything like that. Keep that in mind and I still lost 100 pounds. I didn't go to the gym at all when I lost 100 pounds. Um, so a lot of people are under the impression that you need a gym to lose weight and you really don't. Um, I just kept my carbs low and my sugar intake low um, and then I worked out. With me, um, I had to motivate myself by thinking of things like what I imagined I wanted to wear um, when losing all the weight and stuff. And something that I did was that I would buy an outfit or two. I think I actually went on like a whole shopping spree. And I think um, I went to Forever 21 and to a few other places and I bought a bunch of clothes that I couldn't fit. And I'm the type of person where I do not like to waste money. So um, basically it was just like I either lose the weight or waste the money, you know, and have to give these clothes away to someone else. Um, and so that was really good motivation for me because um, every so often, um, after like working out or like eating right for a week I would try to, the clothes on and see if they fit or you know how they fit or if I could almost get the pants up or whatever and I would be very motivated um, when I would be able to get you know the pants up a little bit more than I was able to get them up before or the shirt fit a little bit better than it did before um, that was the kind of thing that like kind of really motivated me along that motivated me along was just um, having people tell me that it looked like I had lost weight and ask me like have you been losing weight and stuff like that um, I had started my weight loss journey and then I didn't see my family because we usually get together for birthdays and uh, like holidays and stuff and so at the point where I started my weight loss journey I hadn't seen my family in like two months um, and so they came to my house for like a family get together and everyone was just like oh my gosh you look so good like you've lost a bunch of weight like we can tell you look amazing um, that was really gratifying to me. Like having people tell me that I lost, that it looked like I lost weight and stuff was really good. Um, but definitely a good motivation tip for me would be to buy clothes that you can't fit um, and work your way into them because if you're like me and you don't like to waste money, you're going to make sure you fit those clothes. When I started my weight loss journey, um, I am already like an oddball. Like I'm already like an odd girl. So like, I don't know, I am kind of like 50% tomboy, 50% like girly girl. Um, and so when Whenever like I was around guys, men, um, I would really be into the sports or video games or cars, whatever that they were talking about, um, and I would just automatically like get shoved into like you're the homie like category. Um, so uh, yeah, and then to, on top of it, I was kind of like I was overweight, so that didn't help. Um, in LA, anyways, um, men, it's all about image. 
So a guy could totally like me for me and when I was overweight, but just because of the image thing, um, he wouldn't necessarily want to be seen with a girl that was overweight like me. So, you know, I would have just been tossed to the side. I had a motivation notebook um, and I would just have all the outfits that I wanted to wear again with the outfits thing, right? Um, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to lose weight because I wanted to dress cute. That was in my head. So I'd put like the things in my motivation notebook and what I tried to do was I tried to write in my motivation notebook once a day um, so I would remember constantly why I wanted to lose weight. How to keep your motivation um, by you know every day just write down one of the reasons why you want to lose weight so you kind of keep that motivation and then read your past reasons so you just kind of always refresh yourself on why you want to lose weight. Um, like I said, the clothing thing, if you can, buy clothes that you can't fit right now and try to work your way into them. That's motivation for me because, like I said, I do not want to waste my money. <laughs> so I wouldn't forget. Um, and I'm in the process of working on a motivation something um, that I'm going to be giving away to um, some of my subscribers to keep you motivated. But I'm still working on it, so when, they, when I'm done with it, I will present it to you guys. But until then, um, I'm just telling you my little motivation tips. <laughs> Do not listen to what anybody else has to say about you losing weight. So I always also get questions about like before and after my weight loss, so things that have happened before and after. So one of the first things that I noticed was that I can walk, run, do any kind of like physical exercise or just movement and I wouldn't get short of breath. So before like walking up my steps at school to my class, I'd like on the third floor, I'd be out of breath by the time I got to the third floor. Now when I do it, I'm just totally, I scroll and stroll into class and I can sit down and I don't really breathe hard I don't break a sweat something else that I always get asked is do guys treat me different versus when I lost weight that kind of thing and yes guys treat me very different I think I'm gonna do a whole video on that um, before the same guys who wouldn't talk to me before didn't want to talk to me before are trying to talk to me now um, just overall guys are treating me different yeah guys definitely do treat me different I think that's gonna be a topic for a whole other video people often ask me about my sex drive um, and if if that has changed but I'm a virgin I've never had sex um, so I don't I can't tell you um, I wish I could but I can't tell you so I always always get asked that question so let me just like say it now I don't know <laughs> losing weight like an on a weight loss journey don't totally deprive yourself of things that you really want because if you do that, it's going to be really, really hard, um, and you are going to end up cheating um, way worse. Something else I'm going to say is don't have cheat days. Have, like, one cheat meal or, like, one cheat snack because when you have cheat days, you completely blow the wad and you eat everything that you weren't able to eat throughout the whole week, and you basically undo all the progress that you made. So definitely don't do um, cheat days. It was just a kind of random, like, discombobulated video, I feel like. I talked about some of my weight loss journey. I talked about motivation. I just talked about a bunch of things um, like blah so if this is too much information I'm gonna try to separate these into like smaller section videos so, like just a video on my weight loss journey just a video on motivation just a video on life after losing weight and stuff like that because I feel like this was definitely all over the place but I wanted to get a video up for Friday um, so that's where I'm at I'm going to be um, posting a lot of like weight loss things on my Instagram get fit Jen I think is the name of it um, I'll post the name of it right here um, but I'm just gonna be kind of posting uh, pictures and stuff on my meals and like before and after pictures and stuff like that but if you kind of want to um, be able to like contact me and talk to me more then um, you want to follow my personal Instagram and like talk to me on there so uh, get fit Jen is just where I post pictures of meals and me working out and the different workouts and stuff that I do um, my other Instagram is where you can contact me like through direct message to ask me a question if you have a question or uh, whatever you want to see that the, like you know that kind of thing like I said like the get fit Jen is just basically where I'm gonna be like posting um, meal pictures and stuff like that so I won't really have like any like I won't really talk to you guys on that one but my main Instagram is where you can like contact me and like ask me questions in my Instagram direct message and stuff like that you can follow both you can follow one you can follow none it's up to you um, so yeah that just takes different things like I said for different people um, you definitely want to keep your fridge stocked with um, fruits and vegetables first off and if you can't do the low carb low sugar thing right away start off small so start off with just getting rid of the chips then maybe the cookies then maybe the soda you know a little bit at a time you don't have to rush yourself into it because if you rush yourself into it you're setting yourself up to fail so don't set your goal up too high because if you fail then it's gonna be disappointing and you're gonna quit you don't 
don't want to quit. So anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more weight loss and fitness videos with me. Um, have any questions, Instagram, DM it to me at my Instagram, Jenna Nation. Um, don't forget to check out my website, letsgetfitnotfat.com. I have a new post on Brussels sprouts chips and how to make them um, on there. So the links will be down below for everything that I'm talking about. That is it for this video. Oh, follow my other Instagram, getfitgen, where I'll be posting like before and after pictures and pictures of my meals and stuff like that that I have um, and all that jazz. Um, yeah, I feel like that's it. Bye.